My name is Tom Greiner. I'm with Greiner Building Solutions. I started this company here, uh, well actually it hasn't even started. Um, debuting on March 6th at the National Frame Builder Show in uh, uh, Louisville, Kentucky, 6th, 7th, and 8th. Uh, if you see this film before then, please, and you're going to the show, please stop by our booth. It's booth number 552. So what I uh, decided to try to do here is uh, share with the post frame building industry some different methods, some different products that I've came across to make the building of buildings much more contractor friendly, much more efficiently, safer, and, and just everything like that. Um, so one of the big challenges that we came up with was as these buildings got wider, longer, taller, to temporarily brace these buildings uh, against wind, from the, especially from the time where we swing trusses to the time until we get roof steel on, it seemed to be much, much more of a challenge. Um, it was five or six years ago, uh, one of our salesmen sold a building that uh, uh, was 80 foot wide, 26 feet to the eave, and it was built on a 10 high concrete wall. And uh, of course, they all came to me and said, Tom, how are we gonna build this? And I came up with the great idea of using a series of come-alongs and cables, and, and uh, at that time I used earth anchors, like this right here because uh, that's all I knew that was out there to use. And so, we, I, I ended up making an old cart like that. Jim, if you want to kind of scroll over there and show that old cart. That was, I built that about six years ago. And uh, it really worked out real well. So, come on back here and show me, Jim. And what, what I did is I made a new cart didn't change a lot of things on it, but uh, I made a series of different length cables. And these cables, as you can see here, one end has a hook and the other end just has a thimble that the hook hooks into. So you can use a series of cables and, and, and everything like that. So uh, anyway, what we got here is I made a series of chokers. And this has a 5 16th thimble on this end, a quarter inch thimble on this end. So then you can wrap this around the column, slip that in there, and then you can hook your cable to it. And then it goes down the other end of the cable. You would hook into a cable puller. And these are Mazdam one ton cable puller that I'm selling with the kits. Uh, they're rare, a very good top quality. All this cable is 3 16 uh, aircraft quality galvanized cable. It has a minimum breaking strength of 3,700 pounds, which is plenty and such. So, so you hook this into the there, and then you'll bring it down once you get the right length figured out and everything, you will hook it into one of these Griner earth anchors. And this is one that's already assembled. 